And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. It is now currently round six. It just started. Round five, we won 3-0 because our opponent did not show up for round five. So now we are currently three and two for our record. Here is round six. Let's see what kind of decks we are facing. Whew, we got some top end heavy decks. Wow, this is this is a nightmare. <laughs> I, I didn't like the decks we played in round two, but I like these a lot less. This is as bad as it gets for me. I think these are these are like my two least favorite decks to face at all. And you're like, I don't like facing deep either. This is gonna be a tough one to win. I I honestly have to ban this deck, I think. I think that this deck with just all this spell shield and how big it and overwhelm and everything, I just don't think I have a chance. So Watcher is gonna be tough to beat, but we're gonna have to gonna have to try our best. But yeah, the Sivir Overwhelm deck is is the absolute worst matchup. Unfortunately. So the opponent brought the decks that beat the ones that I'm bringing. Okay. So writing it down in the two columns. So two Averrosen sentries. Yeah, but my decks are not good against deep either though. Like this is this is pretty rough. Maybe I have to ban deep, honestly. Like how do I ever beat deep? Cause I'm my decks are really slow. Man, this is bad. I'm definitely facing this deck. My best hope is that my opponent hasn't isn't showing up. That's my best hope right now. That we run into another opponent that didn't show up. So three Avalanche and three Blighter Ravine and two Ice Shard. And of course the three Vile Feast. And won the box? Dude, they are just killing everything. And two Withering Whale. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a list right there. And two ruination. No one for one removal there. All right, so then on the other side. I don't like my chances against either deck. I guess I'm... Man, I don't like it against either deck. I guess I'm playing this. I... I don't know if I can beat deep. Alright, so three exhaust. Three shaped. I should write these down a little faster. Only one Sivir? Three Dune. Three Rock. Three Raider. 
three hunter. Renekton. One Sivir. Three Runner. Hopefully my opponent doesn't show up. And then three Battle Fury. Boo! Thank you so much, Boo! Thanks for that resub. Opponent's here. Uh, opponent is here. So we have to start with this one and hope they choose Trundle Lissandra first. Because Zillion Nasus has no shot of beating Trundle Lissandra. Uh oh. Well, still, okay, I can just win this. So I just have to beat this deck twice then. I have to win this one and then also have the other deck beat this deck. Yuck. All right, so no Doomkeeper. Yeah, they obliterated our deck and then we put Zillion Bombs in. Like, is that our, our best plan? It's like, how do we win with just Zillion Bombs? I don't know, it's gonna be rough. So I don't want I don't want Victor to be vulnerable. And I feel like we have to play Victor this next round and start getting keywords and stuff, right? Like start buffing up Victor. I think that's that's my best shot. Why do they have to have the one Sivir? Sivir is so good. <laughs> Why do they have to have the one Sivir? They're, they're only playing one Sivir. Oh man, and that card's so good. Gotta find a gift for an action, right, Arda? This is a mess. Danger pays. We'll get our legs in. Yeah, great hand. Double Merciless Hunter, plus the Sivir. If they also have Troll Chant, that will be pretty dumb. Shapestone doesn't doesn't help it. It's just Troll Chant. There's two Troll Chants in the deck. Unfortunately, the vulnerable, the victor is permanent vulnerable. Same with the ballistic font. And that is why I passed. Just the one. They have one wild claw in their deck. One sivir, one wild claw. <laughs> oh man. Is there a keyword that says don't have vulnerable anymore? So they had all of that plus they started their hand with two ancient yetis in their opener and they still curved out like that? Oh. 
I mean, that's, that's very lethal. No matter what I do, I just have the two small things challenge. Alright, gotta be the Watcher twice. So, Zillion Nasus, I think, has, like, basically no shot against the Watcher. Like, I think this is a horrendous matchup. So we might as well start here, right? Like, instead of, like, playing a really long grinding game and, like, seeing if we can barely win and then and then play the one that can't really win, might as well just start with this one, right? Because then if we lose, then, you know, like, it's, just, it's done. But if we win, then we can be like, okay, if, like, we get really lucky here and win. But, yeah, this is... This is not good. All right, let's see. So none of these cards matter. What if he had? What if my opponent had like another ancient yeti in hand, like that they could have played, but not just conceded, but <clears throat> what the hand was even better. So as you can see, you can probably see why this is a bad matchup for us. Look at how little any of these cards matter <laughs> against the Watcher deck. They just don't matter at all. Might as well play it. That was their one and only babbling Bjerg. I guess they're good at drawing one ofs. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. The trolls are going to war. I got some damage in on them. Got six damage in. Does that count as a slay for me? It should, right? Like, I just killed my own Zillion. It should count as a slay. They're one Tavern Keeper. <laughs> They're one way to heal their Nexus Tavern Keeper. I guess besides Withering Wheel and stuff, but you know. Oh man, they they draw all their one ofs. If we can undo what has been done, we can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. It's not safe. You can't kill my zillion. Wait. Not if I kill it first. Oh, why didn't I close to be on that? I just kind of clicked okay, you know, because I was expecting avalanche. Yeah, I should have. Uh, yeah, I definitely should have closed beyond that. I don't really know why I didn't.
I banned deep. It, they had the like the worst matchup, the worst lineup for me to see. All three of these decks, this deck deep, like th so this matchup is is you know I have no shot in this matchup. Like this specific deck against Watcher, but I don't think that this deck beats any of the three. I, like I don't think it beats deep either. But I felt like with the other two decks, the Targon decks, I think I have a better chance against Watcher than I do against deep. This matchup's horrendously bad, so they had really great <laughs> hand with the Sivir deck. Their one Sivir. Let's game over. We know that they we know they have a spectral matron in hand because they played the one battling beard earlier. That was rough. That was that was rough. Those are that's like the worst opponent that we could see, and that's why we couldn't lose that second round. That that second our second loss. Those are three matches that I I love playing against that really just didn't go our way at all but ones that I think that I, that I, I have to win because otherwise we'll sometimes face somebody with those three decks and those three decks were just so perfect against me so that's too bad so there we go that's round six um, that's going to be it here for the tournament we are now three and three and officially eliminated so that's too bad all right, well, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and hopefully y'all had a good one. Let me know how, how'd you do in the tournament. What'd you think of the decks I played? Anything like that. Always love seeing those comments. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really can't ever say that enough again. Um, and yeah, you know, we'll give it a, you know, give it a try again in uh, two months for the next seasonal tournament. Remember, we're going to have a big shakeup here in just 10 days. We'll know what it is. We're going to have a brand new expansion coming out, which I would think that they would be starting. <laughs> yes, puppy. Puppy so excited about the, the shakeup to the metagame. Um, but we're going to have the new expansion coming out in 10 days. And then also, um, besides that, we're going to be having a bunch of um, balance patch changes to the current decks. They, they did talk about that. So that should be really, really interesting to see. A brand new fresh metagame at the end of the month at the end of june and uh, we'll get going and playing everything some more after that all right everybody but thank you so much for watching the uh, seasonal tournament i really appreciate it and i'll see you for the next video